Greetings, time travelers. As we step into the time machine, we are set to journey through the annals of history, unearthing fascinating narratives that time has often forgotten. Today, our mission is to delve deeper into the captivating yet perplexing world of human customs and practices. So, fasten your seatbelts as we begin the countdown of the top 10 most bizarre rituals across history. Landing at number 10 is no other than the Viking's funeral. Vikings, renowned seafarers and warriors, held a unique way of venerating their dead, a grandiose and spectacular ritual known as the Viking's funeral. The deceased was given the highest of honors, laid to rest in a meticulously crafted ship, a symbolic vessel that mirrored their seafaring lifestyle. The preparation of the ship was a painstaking process, involving intricate, intricate craftsmanship to ensure the vessel was worthy of carrying the departed to their next journey. This ship was filled not only with their personal possessions, from weapons to jewelry, a testament to their triumphs and personal life, but also in some cases, even included sacrificed slaves, tribute to the Viking belief in the afterlife journey. Offerings of food and drink were also placed on board to the deceased on their voyage to the afterlife. The ship, richly laden, was then set ablaze. This process of cremation on water was not merely spectacle, it held deep significance. Fire for the Vikings symbolized transformation, cleansing the mortal remains and setting the spirit free. The floating pyre on the water was not only a dramatic farewell, but also a rite of passage guiding the departed soul to the afterlife, to the heroic halls of Valhalla. This funeral ritual, unique in its practices and underlying beliefs, offers us an intriguing glimpse into the cultural psyche of the Vikings. It serves to underscore the Vikings' deep-rooted belief in the afterlife, their respect for the dead, and their capacity for both grandeur and brutality. Let's continue with our journey, exploring more such intriguing rituals and practices from the past. Finding its place at number 9 is the ancient Roman festival of Saturnalia. This isn't just a mere festival, it's a week-long celebration that completely flipped the societal norms of the time. The festival, originating as a farmer's celebration for the god of agriculture, Saturn, in the middle of the winter solstice, transformed into a societal upheaval event. Rituals followed during this week were deeply symbolic. Masters switched places with their slaves, serving them instead of being served. This was not just a display of reversal of roles and status, but also a profound social commentary on the inherent equality of all beings, regardless of their social standing. Additionally, gambling, which was usually upon, was allowed during this time. The houses echoed with the clatter of dice, serving as sanctuaries of delight and consortiums of merriment. Gifts were exchanged as well, often including gag gifts, embodying humor and camaraderie. These gifts were not just physical tokens, but embodied the spirit of giving and sharing that we have come to associate with modern-day celebrations. Saturnalia had an enormous impact on Roman society. It served as time for people to unwind, indulge, and turn societal norms on their head. It was a precursor to many modern-day festivals, setting the tone for celebrations of joy, equality, and freedom. Perhaps, that's what makes it so intriguing and essential in our understanding of historical festivities. Our eighth stop takes us high into the mountains to explore the sky burials of Tibet. Here, a sacred ritual known as Jata, the giving of alms to the birds, unfolds. The process is truly sight to behold, with the bodies of the deceased meticulously prepared and set out in the open, offered as sustenance to vultures. These birds, often referred to as dakinis or sky dancers, are regarded as the soul's guides to the heavens. The whole ritual, a poignant demonstration of the Tibetan belief in the impermanence of life and the importance of generosity, even in death. What's more intriguing is the cultural belief that the departure of vultures carrying away the remains signifies the release of the soul from the earthly realm, ushering it into the next phase of existence. This practice exemplifies the Tibetan view of death not as an end, but a new beginning. Taking the seventh spot on our list is the Taipusam Festival of South India, a fascinating spectacle of faith and devotion. 
This highly revered event is dedicated to the Hindu god Murugan and features devotees piercing their bodies with skewers and hooks. The preparation for Taipusam begins a month prior to the festival. Devotees observe strict spiritual disciplines, including fasting and prayer, to purify their minds and bodies. The body piercings are not just about physical endurance. They symbolize self-sacrifice, devotion, and a means to reach spiritual transcendence. On the day of the festival, the devotees, their bodies adorned with skewers and hooks, participate in a vibrant procession. They carry heavy structures known as kavadi on their shoulders as a form of penance, creating an awe-inspiring sight. As they walk, they often enter a trance-like state, their pain threshold heightened by their intense spiritual focus. A true test of faith and resilience, the Taipusam festival is not for the faint-hearted. It is a powerful expression of devotion and a profound glimpse into the depth of Hindu beliefs and rituals. Sliding into the sixth spot, we delve deeper into the haunting Greek tradition known as pharmakos. In the face of crisis or catastrophe, the society would nominate a human scapegoat. This individual, often a criminal, a disabled or a slave, was selected as an embodiment of all the evils plaguing their community. The process of choosing the scapegoat was not a casual occurrence, but rather a heavily ritualistic endeavor. The chosen scapegoat would be adorned with sacred threads and led through the city in a solemn procession while the locals pelted them with insults, spit and waste. As part of the ritual, the unfortunate soul would either be driven out of the city or meet a grislier fate, death. The belief was that by doing so, the community would be purged of the evil that had ensnared it. This ritual was not just a primitive form of problem solving, but also a reflection of the society's coping mechanism during times of distress. It was an eerie testament to how societal beliefs and anxieties could shape such chilling practices. Sitting squarely in the middle of our countdown at number five, we find the ancient heart-stopping Mayan ball game Pocatok. But let's make no mistake here, this wasn't just some neighborhood pickup or a pleasant Sunday kickabout. The stakes in Pocatok were unimaginably high. The very difference between life and death. The rules were deceptively simple yet mind-bogglingly difficult. Players scored by propelling a heavy rubber ball through a stone hoop. But here's the twist. They could only use their hips, knees and elbows. Hands and feet were strictly off limits. Pocatok was more than just a game. It was a spectacle of social and religious significance deeply woven into the fabric of Mayan culture. The ball court itself was a sacred space, often located at the heart of the city, symbolizing the intersection between the mortal world and the divine. The game was a religious ritual, and the blood-curdling conclusion, the sacrifice of the losing team, was seen as necessary for pleasing the gods and maintaining cosmic order. These rituals weren't just grim, though. They were steeped in ceremony, with the victims often honored with elaborate rituals before meeting their fate. So yes, talk about high-risk sports. Our fourth discussion takes us on a journey through time to the morning rituals of Victorian England. This was a time when the bereaved were expected to wear black for a full year, following the demise of a loved one, a deeply entrenched societal expectation that was followed with utmost sincerity. This mourning period was a solemn time, a period of reflection symbolizing the depth of their grief. This was not just a fashion statement, but a way for individuals to publicly express their sorrow. In addition to the clothing, part of these rituals involved covering all mirrors in the house. The Victorians were a superstitious lot. They believed that if a mirror caught the reflection of a casket, the next person to view their own reflection in it would be the next to die. Hence, to prevent the deceased's spirit from becoming trapped and causing further deaths, every mirror was meticulously covered. The belief in afterlife was very prominent during the Victorian era. The morning rituals were not just to honor the departed, they were also to ensure a smooth transition for the soul to the afterlife. The Victorians held a strong belief in the continuation of the spirit and their morning practices reflected this view. This was the sobering reality and the somber tradition of Victorian England, steeped in superstition and societal norms. A fascinating glimpse into a society where death and mourning were treated with an intriguing mix of fear, respect, 
and deep-seated beliefs. Securing the third spot is the Sundance, a sacred ceremony of the Native American Plains tribes. Before the dance, participants undertake rigorous preparation which involves fasting, sweating and purification. In the act itself, they pierce their chests with skewers that are intricately connected to a central pole. Far from a mere physical act, these piercings symbolize a spiritual connection to the divine, a testament of bravery and a personal sacrifice. As they dance under the scorching sun for days without any break, they seek visions and engage in self-sacrifice. This sun dance is more than just a ritual. It is a transcendental journey embedded with profound cultural beliefs, reflecting the tribe's deep reverence for nature and their quest for personal growth and spiritual enlightenment. Moving on to our second spot, we delve into the realm of ancient Egypt, specifically the solemn duties of the Pharaoh's servants. The servants were not randomly chosen, they were often individuals who were exceptionally loyal or close to the pharaoh during his reign. When a pharaoh died, these selected servants would then be buried alive alongside him, a testament to their unwavering dedication and loyalty. This chilling honor was rooted in the Egyptians' belief in the afterlife. Ancient Egyptians held a firm conviction that death was not the end, but simply a transition to another realm. As per these beliefs, the pharaoh would need attendants to serve him in this afterlife as well, hence the burial of the servants along with the pharaoh. The burial process was intricate and held great significance. The servants were typically mummified, just like their pharaoh, to preserve their bodies for the afterlife. They were then placed in the pharaoh's tomb, often in a lesser chamber to signify their subservient status, all meant to ensure the pharaoh would not be without assistance in the next life. A chilling honor indeed, but one that sheds light on the extraordinary beliefs and customs of ancient Egypt. And finally, our number one spot is reserved for the Aztec human sacrifice, a chilling chapter in human history. As part of their religious rites to placate the gods, the Aztecs would choose thousands of people for sacrifice at the Templo Mayor in Tenochtitlan. The selection, often prisoners of war or slaves, were seen as messengers to the gods. They were taken through a solemn procession, their hearts carved out a gruesome ritual that undeniably marks the extremes of human devotion. The Aztec society firmly believed that these sacrifices ensured the continuation of the universe, the sun's journey across the sky, and the balance of life and death. The societal attitudes towards this practice were not of horror, but of religious reverence and necessity. This time, travelers, is your stop at one of history's most bizarre rituals, a testament to the diverse and often perplexing ways in which humans have sought to understand and navigate their world. Before we close this chapter, remember to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Continue your journey through time with us as we delve deeper history's fascinating tales. Until then, safe travels through the folds of time, fellow time travelers.